Recently, we unboxed the Tenori here on C4E Tech, and we were quite impressed in the little time we got to spend with it. Now, there's a Tenor G, and a lot of you guys seem to be interested in it. So, we decided to source a unit, and here we are. In this video, let's unbox the Tenor G and take a quick look. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech, and let's get started. We give you videos the best way possible. So if you do actually like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe and bell icons. And if you don't like it, well, we are always looking to improve. So leave a comment on what you didn't like and we'll try to fix it. So here's the box. Some basic specs can be found to the back. Opening it up, we've got the phone itself. Let me remove the phone from the cover and keep it aside for the moment. We then have the quick start guide, a some ejector pin, the travel adapter and the micro USB cable. Back to the phone, there you have it, the Tenor logo. Without any further ado, let's look at the placements. To the front on top, there's the earpiece, sensors, an LED flash, a whopping 16 megapixel selfie camera. Below that, a 5.5 inch Full HD IPS LCD display covered by 2.5D Gorilla Glass 3. The bottom of this houses the on screen navigation keys. Yep, no capacitive keys on this guy. To the back of the phone, we've got a secondary noise cancelling microphone, a dual tone dual LED flash, a dual 13 megapixel camera setup. One's a monochrome sensor that captures detail and the other is an RGB sensor that captures color information. Below that, there is an active fingerprint scanner and the Tenor branding resides at the bottom. The power button and volume rockers can be found to the right. Up top, there's a 3.5mm headphone jack. To the left, we can find a hybrid slot. This can accommodate two nanosims or a nanosim and a micro SD card. And finally, at the bottom, we've got the primary microphone, a micro USB port, and dual direct stereo speakers. Now, the Tenor G, just like most phones in this price segment, is made of metal. The sides are curved, which helps with the grip. It feels quite good in hand, and it's not too heavy either, considering the massive 4000 mAh battery underneath. While the build itself is good, the design doesn't really scream original. The plastic top and bottom reminds me of the Redmi Note 3 a lot. Just because the design isn't original doesn't mean the design isn't good. Tenor have improved upon the set design. The rarely found vertical camera placement and the metal accents to the back are a really nice touch. And that fingerprint scanner also works fine. We faced no issues whatsoever in the little time we spent testing this phone. The fingerprint scanner was quite fast. Underneath the hood, the Tenor G, which let's be frank, is positioned to be a direct competitor to the Redmi Note 4, actually one-ups Xiaomi here. It is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 626 chip, a 10% boost over the Snapdragon 625 found on the Redmi Note 4. There are also two RAM storage variants available, 332 and 464. Here's a list of sensors on this phone. There's pretty much everything on board, the basic ones I mean. Snapdragon 626 along with a 4000mAh battery, you know, that's a good combination. We expect good performance for day-to-day -day usage as well as extremely good battery life here. Now here's another area where the Tenor G might have an advantage over the Redmi Note 4. This phone runs on an almost stock build of Android 7.1.2 Nougat. Tenor has promised regular security patches and an upgrade to Android 8 Oreo in the future. That's sweet. There's very little uninstallable bloat, just a few Amazon apps. There's also a removable Amazon widget that displays the latest deals. And as expected from stock Android, we do have quick switch and split screen multitasking here. The camera interface is simple and neat. The shadow response is quick, tap here for different shooting modes, we've got some filters too. Tenor has even added a beauty mode for the rear camera. The samples that you're seeing, we quickly shot those around the studio, let us know what you think about the quality in the comments below. So Snapdragon 626, a 4000mAh battery, dual camera, stock Android, sounds like a dream budget phone, doesn't it? The Tenor G is sold exclusively via Amazon.in for 10,999, that's for the 332 variant, and 2,000 rupees extra for the 464 variant. And like I said, at these prices, this is a direct competitor to Xiaomi's Redmi Note 4. At this point, I want to skip out on the review and jump right to a Redmi Note 4 comparison video. On paper, the Tenor G seems to offer better value, a 10% higher clock chip, stock Android with a promise of an Oreo update, and dual cameras. So what do you guys think? Is this a Redmi Note killer? Do you want to see a comparison between these two? Head on over to the comments and let us know. So that's it for this quick unboxing and hands-on. Vote this video down if you hated it, but if you did like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends or family, anyone who might be looking to buy a budget phone in this segment. And also don't forget to subscribe to C4E Tech for more videos like this. 
hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified each time a new video goes live here on the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this year is Ash and I'm signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.